Is there anything more wonderful on earth than the miracle of man? <laughs> he has mastered the mysteries of language and thought, which moves faster than the wind, he has tamed and made rational. The miracle of man's speech is hard in its own way because it's a, it's a slight departure from the um, sense and reality that we've had in the play up till then. It's one of the first times that you actually have, um, uh, you break the fourth wall and you say, guys, guess what? We did a lot of work on the speech and there are, there are two things, the, the two basic things we did was inflate it to as big as it could be and then pare it down and then from the other end we were just finding the, the tiny bits of detail and making sure that they were visible. So the first line, is there anything more wonderful on earth than the miracle of man, okay? Um, uh, in the big, at the big end of the scale I was just uh, I was trying to feel what it's like if I bellowed it, if I just went, is there anything more wonderful, like showmanship, like da da da, you know, roll up, roll up, come and see the amazing human being. Then in the, the detailed element of it that Polly wanted in was, she wanted to, it to feel much more like it was a conspiratorial conversation. So to keep the excitement and the energy that would make you go, roll up, roll up, but also find the detail that makes you have this secret and say, is there? anything more, you know, the, the thrill of it, but the, the secrecy, because people aren't going to stay in slow motion for very long. I'm just going to tell you quick, people are amazing, and they've done amazing things, check this out. And you tell them. Political wisdom too, all the knowledge of people and states, all the practical arts of government, he has studied and refined and ordered all things in his mind. There is no problem he cannot resolve by the exercise of his brains or his breath and the only disease he cannot salve or cure is death. In action, he is subtle beyond imagination, limitless in his skill and these gifts are both enemies and friends as he applies them with equal determination to good and to evil ends. What's interesting is watching something with heightened language and feeling like you're speaking to your friend or your nan or whatever. So finding the way to make speech that doesn't normally make sense to you, that doesn't normally live in your world, make sense to you and live in your world. I mean, I think quite often with those things, the thing that's difficult, I guess, is also when you're dealing with a Shakespeare or something, it's very tempting to think, oh, this is just how those people spoke, like that they just had those images at their fingertips, that it was just the currency of their language. And once you start imagining that they were reaching for those images with as much difficulty and from as great a distance as we would be if we were to say, the thing that I want to say when I'm about to die is I can't believe that I'm feeling the sun's warmth on my face. The size of that thought for an ancient Greek is the same size as it would be if I was in Hackney. You know, it's the same <laughs> feeling. And so that it really was about being honest about how big the thoughts were and how big a stretch it was for those individuals to coin those thoughts, rather than just assuming that they could just roll them out in the same way that we would roll out a shopping list. The language, the, 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 yes, the, the, the density of the language is a challenge, as, it, as is the, the vastness and the density of the themes. You know, Sophocles did not do small talk. Um, but it's also a gift as well. It's the best possible way for someone to say something. Um, there could be a shorter version of that line. You know, I, when I like read Shakespeare, sometimes it's, you think of it as so convoluted and, cra and crazy. And well, why don't you just say, "I don't like you"? Um, but there's a very specific reason that that person doesn't like someone. And so it takes longer to make sure that thought is completely clear. So if you think of it like that, it becomes about just coining your phrase. 